Hi everyone. I hope you're excited. You've uh, planned and you're looking forward. You likely have anxiety, all kinds of stuff going on in your mind. Your flight to the Philippines. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day. Well, went to Costco today and picked up some ducarol. So anytime that you're going on a vacation, you foreigners, especially if you're going to the Philippines, I recommend you end up taking ducarol. So you can normally pick up the ducarol at any of your pharmacies. Costco has it here in Canada. So any of you Canadians watching this, you can pick this up at the, the pharmacy area in Costco. You're looking about $60 if this is going to be your first dosage. So every year, if you're going to be going to the Philippines, I highly recommend you pick up yourself some Ducro, guys. Uh, you know, you don't want to have any issues because you're going to a foreign country. And you need to take this two weeks prior to, say, your arrival in the Philippines. Really important, guys. So there's one little tip for items that you should be doing if you're planning on traveling to the Philippines. I hope this helps you and I have more travel tips for you guys. So keep watching. Bye for now and have a nice day. Make sure you subscribe. Lots of great videos for you to watch. Hello everyone, I'm back with some more tips for traveling to the Philippines. So these are some simple clear bags that you can buy on Amazon. If you go onto my Amazon store, you'll see these clear bags. And these are all uh, bags that are carry-on approved. So this is something that I would highly recommend and you should end up having two of them actually. So get two of these. And the reason why you have two is in one, you end up having your liquids and your other one, you'll have like pills and things. So in the, for example, in this one, so these are your tips. That was another tip for you. Items that I'd recommend if you're uh, traveling from say Canada, going to the Philippines, you can be going anywhere. If you can pick up yourself some cold FX, um, I would highly recommend you start taking this one week prior to going to the Philippines. Uh, this will build up your immune system. So if you're in contact with anyone having any issues, this will greatly help you out. As you can see, it actually even talks about immune system on there. Let's see if it'll focus in there. So you can check out Code FX. It's very well known. Hi, everyone. I hope you're excited. You've uh, planned and you're looking forward. You likely have anxiety, all kinds of stuff going on in your mind. Your flight to the Philippines. Are you ready? Are you prepared? You have your flight all booked. Have you got all your checkups done? Got any shots that you need to have done? Did you get your Ducarol? Make sure you get your Ducarol, guys. Very important. You don't want to get into problems. Make sure you take it two weeks prior to traveling. But guys, once you've got all those things organized and you're ready to go and the excitement is there, make sure that you fill out the e-travel. Guys, fill, you got to go to the Philippines government and fill out the e-travel, guys. If you don't do that, your possibility is turned away all kinds of problems, guys. Last time I flew, a gentleman I uh, from the U.S. I met, 
and we were just chatting. I said, hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. He goes, yeah, I'm going to meet my LDR for the first time. Two years, LDR, finally going to meet with her. I mean, a lot of anxiety. I'm nervous, all kinds of things going up through my mind. Anyways, we're chatting and I said, uh, you got your uh, e-travel, right? He looks at me and said, e-travel? What's an e-travel? I said, oh, wow, man. Okay, do you have your throwaway ticket? Throwaway ticket? I've got a return ticket. I said, but when's your return ticket for? The return ticket was uh, beyond the 30 days, which is uh, visa-free for us, right? So anyways, this guy was like, he was... He was ready to get into a lot of problems. So I, I sat there and I explained to him, uh, you know, we need to go on to the, the government of the Philippines. So that's where you're going to go and make sure you do not pay any money. There's a lot of scams out there. Go on to the government of Philippines and fill out your e-travel. It's going to ask you all kinds of personal information. It's going to ask you for your passport information, your flight information, uh, the day that you're coming in and when you're leaving. Key thing, the day you're leaving, guys, it's got to be within the 30 days. Not after 30 days, guys. It's got to be within those 30 days. This is all being documented because you're visa-free for 30 days, guys. So make sure you do it properly. All right? Your throwaway ticket. So that e that e-transfer, e-travel, not e-transfer, e-ticket, e, e, e Oh my goodness, now I'm starting to get myself. Anyways, that e-travel has to be 72 hours before you land in the Philippines. So I recommend the day before you're going to fly, fill it out, guys. So for example, if I was flying out tonight at 6 p.m. in the night, I fill it out in the morning. And at the same time, guys, before you start filling it out, don't start filling this out yet until you get your throwaway ticket. I hope you know what a throwaway ticket is. There's lots of videos out there about throwaway tickets, guys. You gotta have a throwaway ticket. If you're, you gotta have it, unless you have a return ticket for under 30 days, guys. If you have a return ticket under 30 days, you don't need a throwaway. But if you are planning on staying in the Philippines for more than 30 days, you have to have a throwaway ticket and you have to put that date on the documents when you do the e-travel. Very important. And they'll usually ask where you're staying in the e-travel. And they'll ask, what are you planning on doing while you're in the Philippines? They're basically documenting you guys. So take your time. So I'm going to recap this again. If you are going to be staying more than 30 days, make sure that you buy an e-ticket. E-ticket. A throwaway ticket. <laughs> All these words confusing me. Get a throwaway ticket, guys. There's a, a few of them. I, I'm not going to recommend any of them. There's a few. There's lots of stuff on YouTube about them. Uh, get that first. And I think it's, I, I, I believe it's, is it 48 hours? I forget, I forget the time now, guys, the time frame. It slipped my mind. I'll have to check that out and I'll, I'll confirm. But I think it's 48 hours. I think it's 48 hours that it's good for before it expires. Might be 24 hours. Anyways, confirm whoever you're going to be dealing with. So you want to say if you're flying out again, six o'clock tonight, do this in the morning before you leave. Do your uh, ticket, right? Your throwaway. You are going to, if you're getting into the Philippines uh, on the 25th, you're going to put in there that you arrive on 25th and within 30 days, put that's when you're leaving and put where you're leaving. You can write whatever you want, Taiwan, wherever you're going. They don't care. They just want to see that you're leaving the Philippines because you only have a 30 day free visa, period. Everybody, everyone's the same, right? When we're uh, tourists visiting, then open up uh, the e-travel through the Philippines government. And you're going to see, you're going to fill out all the documentation and they're going to ask you that question. When do you arrive and when are you leaving? All right. And it's all documented, guys. You're going to get a, a scanner, a barcode, 
So make sure you physically take a picture of that. Have a hard copy also, guys. Have that folder set up in your cell phone. So it's very easy when you get to the airport, you can just show them because they use mostly scanners, right? Because 9 out of 10, uh, before you board, get access onto the Philippine Airlines or get in Philippines, they're going to ask you, do you have um, your e-transfer and do you have a return ticket? So very important. So going back to this chat, we got everything all done, got them all taken care of. Thank goodness we were waiting for a couple hours. And it's now ready to get boarded and we're going up and what do you think they asked? Do you have a return ticket, sir? Yes, I do right here. Okay. Uh, do you have your e-travel done? Yes, I do. Here you go. You're good to go, sir. Have a nice flight. There you go. So if he didn't have those, he would have been turned away. Now, if for some reason you get caught and there's a problem, just say, oh, hold on for a second. I, I, I'll be right back. I got I to gotta deal with this and just walk away and deal with this stuff, guys. Don't put yourself in an awkward situation, right? So those are some tips for you uh, for traveling. I hope they help you out. Please share, comment, and like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, I have lots more great videos sharing in the Philippines, going to different islands. You can see Coco Grove, going to Sikior Island, all the different places we've gone on Sikior Island, Palatin, and the falls, and uh, Boracay, Bahal, Chocolate Hills. You know, there, there's so many places, Alona Beach, so many places that we've gone to that will help you out to see if these are destinations that you would like to go and uh, check out and visit for yourself. So check out those videos and uh, enjoy, but also watch uh, the videos here in Canada and you can see what Canada is all about because a lot of people don't know what Canada is all about. So, you know, I have quite a bit of uh, fishing, uh, going uh, out uh, for a charter for salmon. And my girlfriend, Belinda, she got her first fish and a huge salmon, a monster, and that's all on video. And it was my dad's dream to go on a charter and catch his first salmon. He does a lot of fishing, but he never caught uh, a large salmon and he caught the biggest salmon. So those are special moments that you don't ever forget. So we have a great video to share that. Uh, and also how beautiful it is here in Canada. Um, I live in, uh, north of Toronto, right across from Lake Simcoe in Innisfil, Ontario, Canada. And it is beautiful in this area. When I walk out of the house, if I walk to the left, five minutes to a beach. If I walk to the right, five minutes to a beach within walking, guys. A slow walk. And then I walk farther down, there's more beaches, guys. So it's, uh, it's a special place. It's very relaxing and it is gorgeous. So thanks for watching and have a great day. See you soon. This is being shot on the DJI, DJI, DJI Pocket 3. Oh, we have some Canada de geese coming in. See the Canada geese right there, guys?
Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope everybody's having a great day. Make sure to subscribe. Say hi. Share where you're viewing this video from. Hope you're having a great day. Well, there's not many people at the beach, guys. It's pretty quiet. Just because they were talking about uh, not very nice weather. But it is beautiful, guys. It's 26 Celsius out right now, guys. Bella and I are out for a nice walk. Get some exercise. And this is fall, guys. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? These are fall flowers, guys. It's late September. It's almost the end of September now, guys. Hi, guys. More tips for you. So, I don't know if you've ever had an allergy issue um, from environmental or actually eating food. You may have never had that in your own country, but you are coming to a foreign country, meaning the Philippines, and environmentally things are going to be different there for you. And also eating different types of food, drinking, you know, all those things will affect our bodies differently. I would highly recommend Take 10. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. What do you have to say, babe? Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>